Hey guys, me and Alex are back with another tasting video and this week we are trying more candy from America. Surprise, surprise. I, I've lost count him how many American things we've tried now. But this is a whole box of stuff I've never even set my eyes on before. And it's just a completely different theme, do yeah, you not and think? style. It's more... Family. Local. Local. That's the word. Local. There's a lot of berries I've never heard of. I know, <laughs> when I looked at that jam I was like, I what? thought Huckleberry was the name of a character from Huckleberry a book. Huckleberry Finn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This was in a massive box. Yeah. Everything was individually wrapped, so lovely, but we thought we'd get it out so it's easy for yeah. the video. And then all that if was, we'd had the box here, you wouldn't see you us. You wouldn't see us, no. <laughs> There's so much packing peanuts yeah. as well, so it's really good. And then all that is here is a little postcard. Isn't that nice? The yeah. black and white. And it says, please enjoy a taste of the Pacific Northwest. I'm a huge fan, Richard Morris. So thank you so much, Richard. Cheers, Richard. This looks amazing. So I'm super excited. Should we crack straight in? Yeah. And what was I, was I saying about, about family owned? Partners, family owned, simply delicious. How cool. We have tried some from the Northwest before. We have, yeah. These are partners, Walla Walla Sweet Onion. Walla Walla. <laughs> How do you say that? artisan flatbread crackers. I don't think I've tried flatbread crackers before. Ooh. They smell good. So they look quite pale, but that's what you And if they're not broken, look how big they are. Wow. What flavour did we say? Walla Walla onion. These are zero grams trans fat. Tell me what state oh my that word, looks yeah. like. <laughs> Is, Cheers. Have you ever seen a cloud that looks this shape? Mm. It looks like they've got sesame seeds on, but... This is really good. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, yeah. And another. Mmm. These are actually delicious. So at first I couldn't taste the flavour, but... What do you think that yellow thing is? Uh, is that a bit of onion? Maybe. So at first I couldn't taste any flavour, but I think that's the same with every cracker. Mm. Like at first, it, like you need to coat your mouth, don't you? Mmm. Mm. These are very enjoyable. Let us know if you're from the Pacific Northwest. And do you just enjoy these as a snack, or do you have them with something? I'm just trying to think what these would be really good with dips. Hummus, Hummus. tzatziki. Mm. Or if you're like me... Taramasalata. Some butter. Oh, you brought it with you, did you? Well, because we're going to be toasting. Oh, they're really nice. Cheers. Oh, they're delicious. What really would you give them? A 10. <laughs> yeah. Even though they're just like mm. a plainish biscuit, I'd say they're delicious. Yeah. I'd probably just give them a 9, though. They, on, are, they are 10 worthy. On the but... cracker scale, I'll give them... On the cracker scale, I'll mm. give them a 10. So this looks fancy, doesn't it? Mm. Now, someone else has told us about Huckleberry. We don't get this here, do we? Not that I know of. But I think it's quite American. A Northwest classic. Killian corn products are made from a specially cultivated popcorn grown in the heartland of America. Each batch is made from a traditional family recipe using only the finest ingredients. A habit forming treat that literally melts in your mouth. Quality always comes first at Killian corn. Huckleberry. Look how, like, lovely and blue, purpley blue. Before they you are. eat it, what flavour do you think they'll taste like? For some reason, I think they'll taste like blueberries, but more. Tart. I'm thinking they look like blueberries, don't they? Yeah, which is why I think they'll be like blueberries, but I think they'll be more punchy. Yeah, it'll be hard to tell. I think because of the color and the look, I'm thinking blueberry, but it does look expensive, doesn't it? God, that it's smell? so packed. That smells amazing. I've smelt that before. Do you know why I feel like we've smelt this before? Bath and Body No, <laughs> like a pancake house or something. Yes. Like in a I jam. I think I've smelt this in a jam. It smells amazing. What do you think? So good. Really? Mm. Wow. Mmm. Yeah, right, I could eat this all day. It's a completely different flavour popcorn, do you not think? Like, yeah. It's not sweet, as in like sweet caramel popcorn, mm. but then it's not the savoury or the salty. It's it's almost like you were fruity. eating. Yeah, fruity. it's fruity. What are you giving that? I think they're a 10. They're so good. Oh, nice. And I would like to eat that just as much. Or is it any of any of my favourite popcorns? True. Mm. Mm, that's delicious. Mm. And so much more interesting than just like sweet popcorn. Mm. I was just going to say there is one more um, savoury thing in here. But oh yeah, but we without can't. us roasting some vegetables, we're not going to find out how it tastes. Although I can say it does smell amazing. Oh wow. When I got it out of the box, I was just like, ooh. So this is all natural spice blend, pink peppercorn, lemon, thyme, all purpose rub. Mm. So if it's all purpose, surely we can rub yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe it's also exfoliating. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Huckleberry white chocolate cacao. Cocoa mix. Cocoa mix. I think that's hot chocolate. Oh, right, yeah. There's also this huckleberry tea. Should I put a tea bag yeah, on? Yeah, maybe well, put a tea bag so on. So we can well. have tea and toast. Oh, wow. While we're on here, should we open this up? Yeah. This is from the Pacific Northwest shop. 
Oh, wow. Oh, oh my word. Spicy garlic oil. Oh, nice. Oli Buon Gusteo. Saute fresh vegetables, also wonderful on warm focaccia bread with Parmesan cheese. Well, little do you know, Richard, that I've started making focaccia recently, haven't I? Yeah. Look at this, it's got like a proper spout and a everything. Proper spout, yeah. That's really cool. We've never been sent anything like that. No. Do you know what I think that would be quite good with? What? These crackers. If you had Ooh, like a I little. dipped it in. Dip in, yeah. These Should we do that so we know what it tastes like? Yeah, maybe. Right, I'll put the kettle on. They're really cool. You get 10 tea bags in there. That's a great little vacuum pack little thing, isn't it? Huckleberry tea. The wild huckleberry thrives in moist and well-drained subalpine meadows of the Pacific Northwest. Mm. We have crafted the essence of our ingenious sweet huckleberries. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that bag. Whoa. I think huckleberry could be my new favorite flavor. That's amazing. <laughs> I think I smelt this before. Right, so what do we have right. on offer today is Washington wild huckleberry jam. The next one up is boysenberry jam, hand packed from an open kettle by the jam factory. And then by the same brand, pure marionberry jam. Mm. I say we go with the Washington. Wild huckleberry. Yeah. Oh wow, this is like that blueberry jam we got once. Yeah, It's very quite moist. um wet. We still have that blueberry jam, or did yeah, it get do. used? Messy. I'm just gonna put a lot on here. <laughs> wow, that's absolutely delicious. You know what that is? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something, a joke, but about huckle, <laughs> I'm huckling, I'm chuckling. <laughs> That you is should have really done. Good. That would have been funny. I would say that's quite um, like blueberry, that huckleberry, wouldn't you say? Yeah. That's but it's got like an extra kind of sweetness. Sweeter. It's sweeter. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. I'll should we try boysenberry? Because I've heard of it, but yeah. I haven't. And tried out of it. boysenberry and marionberry, I wonder which one will be sweeter. Completely different smell. Also, I learned something interesting from the comments box. See how this is called jam? Yeah. And usually Americans say jelly. jelly. Well, I found out jam is Ooh. smooth. Oh, and what's I'll jelly? I'll Google search that. Jelly has bits in. Are you sure it's not the other way around? Because this has got bits in. Maybe it's the other way around. What do you prefer, this or? I think I prefer this because it's lighter and fruitier. Yeah. It's got really kind of deep, almost, what did you say? Chutney type yeah. texture to it. That's mm. good. What one would you rather have? Comment down below if you've had these before, flavours, and if so, which one's your favourite? Because it's more syrupy, it's much more like caramelly That's almost. That's true. It's almost like pancakes. Mm. That smells less fruity again. Oh, it does, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. But, but it still dark, spreads quite it? thick. So this it? is the Marion Berry. This doesn't have much smell at all, does it? I really enjoyed that mm. um, boysenberry. I feel mm. like it, that one was so Ooh. much sweeter. Mmm. Actually, got more tang to it. Mmm. It's not like a front of the mouth sweetness. It's kind of like midway through the taste, isn't it? These are some of the best jams I've ever and had. These more like complex jams, aren't they? Mm. I really like this one. Mm. I think actually, after trying them all, boysenberry is my top. Then marionberry. Then huckleberry. Oh, you think boysenberry is your top? Mm -hmm. Really? I still think this is my top. I really like this. And then I think Marionberry and then Boysenberry for me. Now I think we... I've got to give them all like an eight to 10. Oh yeah. I think for me, they're like a nine to 10. Mm, they're okay. so good. I don't even think I'd give one an eight. A nine to 10. I'd say my top one is 10 and then the, re the mm. next oh, two, the two are probably nine. nine. Mm. Right, well let's oh, crack no. into this oil. What's this now for? Ooh. Oh, with wine, smell the cork. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why would you put it on your nose? I not I just couldn't smell it, so I got closer. <laughs> Do you want this to try cool. this huckleberry? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's nice as a mm. tea. I don't really like sweet tea that much, because I feel like, it's like when you go from having squash or juice, I don't know what you call it in America, to then having like flavored water. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It feels like weak. Well, but this I only, is actually so pungent. I only really drink water, I, apart from beer. I don't really drink anything that has flavour in it. So to me, tea 
is really good because it's just like a light flavour. And I've been drinking a lot of hibiscus tea lately, oh. which isn't really strong. You just get like a so nice. This is so this really is really strong. good because you don't. There's not loads of flavour, but then you just get like a fruitiness in your mouth. This is so nice. Mm. Smells good. That's when you thought these crackers couldn't get any better. Just got a little kick to it. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. That's got a big kick to it, actually. Mm. Wow. Well, that chilli's hot. Very good. That's too I hot think it'd for be me, unfair. But... This is like a nine of the chilli oils, but it's a bit unfair because I haven't rated many chilli <laughs> oils. So. Okay, right. Should we get the applets and collets out? Yes. You so, can get the one that's already open. Yeah. You. Richard has given us three of the same thing. You were very kind. So you open it up and you get a piece of paper, or oh, nice good quality paper. How do we know which ones are applets and which ones are cotton? Because it's like this, Alex. That's what happens when you rush life. Exactly. So there's a break down the middle. These ones on the left are apple and walnut and these are apricot and walnut. But what if you like end up thinking <laughs> this and you've handed this out and then you're like, oh, which ones are they? Oh wait, don't you They all look the same. <laughs> You're gonna try one from each side. Yeah, I'll well we have actually already tried these. We really like mm. these. Do you like them still? Mm. It's good that they're jelly and they're vegan. Mm. They definitely taste like um, Turkish delight. A no, because I don't really like Turkish delight. Because they're but not I like as floral. These. Mm. I definitely prefer the cotlets mm. to the applets. I thought I was gonna but prefer still the applets. The cotlets are way up there. Mm. They don't taste like apricot, they taste more like mango. Really? Oh, that apricot one is a. I'm not going to give it a 10 because I've tried much nicer mango. things. Um, those cotlets are like an 8, 9, aren't they? Yeah. But you know what? These, for me, would fall under the sweets category. Yeah. And these are probably the best sweets I've ever had. Mmm. I think you said that. These, for me, are better than any pack of They're Swedish fish. They're much more fish natural, or, aren't they? What was those other things you tried? Sour Patch. Sour Patch Kids. They're so good. Those cotlets are really good, aren't they? I could sing their praises all day. Um, what, so what are you giving them, then? Yeah, on the sweet scale, like a 10. Yeah. We've not seen these before. Same brand, same make. They've branched different out. Different flavours. Look how much bigger this box is. That's because this is like a selection box. Yes. They were like, we've had so much success with our original flavors we're, we're gonna, gonna branch out so we've got boysenberry and hazelnut green apple and almond almond because almond. that's red apple isn't it and yeah walnut. And walnut cherry and almond grape oh. and walnut so they're not only branching out on their flavors they're branching out on their, their nuts these nuts <laughs> ah, got got him. Him. pear and pecan Cranberry and walnut. Pear and pecan and cranberry and walnut just sound like they go together, don't they? Yeah, look at the dividers. Oh, How nice. pretty is that? I just love the way they've done that. Right, where's cranberry and walnut? I'm going straight Middle. for that. Middle. I'll start with pear and sticky. pecan then. Okay, they seem thicker, these ones. Is that good? Mm. Pear and pecan. What are you pecan at? <laughs> mm, that pear's really nice, actually. Mmm, mmm, that tastes I think I prefer Christmassy. pear and pecan. What do you think pear and pecan tastes like Christmas? Mm. Right, I'm gonna go boysenberry and hazelnut. What are you doing? Hazelnut, cherry and almond. I don't think I'll like this one. The hazelnuts are very nutty, obviously. But boysenberry is not a really strong flavour, so it gets a bit lost with the nut. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'll go green apple and almond. Cherry and almond's good. I want a bit of tang to it. And I'll go grape and walnut. It doesn't have a lot of flavour, but what it does have is nice. Mmm. Mmm. I'd say out of there, my favourite is grape and walnut and pear and pecan. But out of the whole entire thing, I think the cotlets. The cotlets are, are my so favourite. Good. The apricot so ones good. are delicious. I love these. These are so awesome. Like instead of a, a box of chocolates. You can pass these around. Yeah. And there's so many different flavours. And you don't feel really, well, maybe after a few, but you don't feel like, ugh, sickly sweet. These mm. are absolutely delicious. So good. Okay, we've got three things left to try. Richard has actually given us some pancake mix. How awesome is That's this? So cool. And how soft is that bag? This is a bit like the beer stuff we yeah. got, isn't it? And we are going to do this. However, I just read before that we need eggs and we don't actually have eggs no. in the house. So we're going to go out and get some. And then I'm guessing this is to go with the pancake mix because this is Washington apple syrup. 
Look how like liquid that feels. And it's so light. Yeah. This bag is so nice. Well, you can keep that I'm as a wash bag or bag. something. Ooh. Oh, so it doesn't look like there's clumps in here. So that is absolutely awesome. So we're going to come back to that. And then the last thing, which is so exciting, is, oh, Dorothy. It's the same makers of this. Handmade oh, yeah. by Dorothy. Huckleberry she white must be chocolate. Busy. Yeah, and local. Cocoa mix made with wild huckleberry juice. Makes one cup. So directions, an entire package to seven ounces of very hot water or milk. Stir well and enjoy. And listen to the ingredients. Ground white chocolate. Oh, you're gonna like this, aren't you? Yeah, so I need to heat up some milk. No, Let's awesome. do it after the pancakes. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Hold on. <laughs> we are back and we are ready to make some pancakes. Why are you looking at me like that? Aren't you excited? Not as so excited as you, apparently. <laughs> I thought you, I was going to look at you and be like... Whoa. You're looking at me with the cheesiest face I've ever seen. Because we're about to make some pancakes. <laughs> and I'm hoping these are like the American thick pancakes. Cause I thought been... you were like really pleased because you'd done a rhyme or something. If you'd done something <laughs> no. like, and you were like, we're back and we're about to make some pancakes. We have our apple pancake mix. Would you like to open that for me, please? Okay, directions. Preheat griddle to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why you really want me to be in the recipe videos, isn't it? So I can be your assistant. Yeah, pretty much. Alex, can you just break this into the mix? <laughs> okay, so we've got a place mix in a four quart mixing bowl. Not a clue if that's four quart, but I will go with it. So we've got to add two and a quarter cups of warm water, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if this is 100 degrees, but I put it in the microwave for one and a half minutes. It's warm to the touch. Ooh, does it smell apple-y? I think so. Oh yeah, it smells like when you're in America and you get oh, like apple word. cinnamon donuts and stuff like that. I think there is actually like bits in there, isn't there? Like apple bits, see? So into that, the warm water. This is obviously to help with the yeast. Add two and a quarter cups, two eggs and two tablespoons vegetable oil. I swear here it says three tablespoons. Damn, who do we believe? Three tablespoons or two tablespoons? I say this one because it's on the yeah. pancake. In we go. In we go, no shell. Oh no. <laughs> I actually didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> two. And vegetable oil. It does smell great. Does it? Should I mix it up a bit? Mix yeah. well, then cover bowl and let rest in a warm location. Oh, you're going to put it in the airing cupboard. Mm. Is it warm up there? Yeah. Can you get my cycling shoes out while you there? <laughs> <laughs> it says mix well. I hope a wooden spoon is well enough. Mix well, then cover bowl and let rest in a warm location for 10 to 15 minutes. Cook as usual on a lightly greased 375 degree griddle. This says 350. Right. What are you doing that? We've got to cover it. Oh. And leave Does it. one say cover it and the other one doesn't? No, like, both actually do. They got themselves together for this bit. All right, i got to put that in a warm room. See you in a bit. Shall we make this then? You want to make this, don't you? Yeah. This is Huckleberry White Chocolate Cocoa Mix. Okay, and it says you can even mix this with milk or water or... Or corn syrup. Seven ounces. We are back with some very hot milk. That's a lot of powder for just seven yeah. ounces, but it's probably- it must be very rich. I think because it has white chocolate in it. Does it? Yeah. You reckon? That's what it says. Ground white chocolate. Oh, cool. So I think it's going to be quite- Let's hope this works out all right then. Mm. Does it smell good? It smells like the huckleberry jam. Oh, it does, yeah. Ooh, is it going to be pink? I feel like really, because that's a lot of powder, what you should do is actually mix a little bit first. Yeah, maybe. Make a paste. Yeah. Ooh. Lovely, smell good? purpley pink colour, isn't it? It's going to be hot. I bet. I might have to put it to the side for a bit yeah. while we start on the uh, pancakes. Do you want to get our induction hob? Yeah, I'll get the hob. Okay, this drink looks amazing. Oh, look. We're on a bit of an angle here. Okay, let me try this. Whoa. Is it good? Creamy? Wow. Is it thick? What a different, like, hot chocolate taste. Really? Mm. Fruity, not rich. Fruity? It's literally like you're drinking that jam. Really? Yeah. Hot chocolate is it, rich it and is indulgent. It is rich. Is it? It is rich and indulgent. A whole one of these is probably going to be like, whoa. Whoa. But that flavour is amazing. 
think this is ready. I'm ready to snuggle up in bed now and just lie and sleep. Look how that has gone really. Oh, oh wow, it's got like a skin on top. Maybe mix it round again and then we'll start ladling. Yodale, 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 yodale. Wait, what's that song? He taught me to yodel, yodel, you can book me and Alex for gigs. Do you want to pass that? Yodel I think gigs. Four pancakes. Serve six, oh, but it six. says 20 to 30 four inch pancakes. 20 to 30? No way. So am I just meant to be making litter ones? I guess How so. How big is four inch? Maybe you could do two in that pan at a time. Like that? Yeah, I guess so. I've never like done two in one yeah. pan. Well normally I... we do like the whole pan, don't we? Yeah. My should, while we fork. wait for this, should we sniff Ooh, this? Sniff it. So homemade by Dorothy Washington apple syrup. Whoa. One more. It's very liquidy, isn't it? It doesn't really no, smell like not apple. That rich. I thought it was gonna smell like um you kind know, hotel like apple breakfast juice. apple juice. <laughs> yeah. Should I flip this yeah, over flip, quick? Flip, 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 fish. Oh, oh. Now we're talking. Should we just hope it's quick to the middle? Should yeah. we put this on? Yeah. Ooh. Richard, do you, you know, is this something you get for the weekend? I think every day. Dig in. Is it done? Have we done it in the middle? Oh, I think so. I think so. Well, that is so good. I don't know if it is fully cooked, but that's amazing. And that apple sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. this one out. Very good. <laughs> this is really nice. I'm sorry I wasn't more enthusiastic at the beginning now. Mm. If I knew it was going to taste this good, I think I would have been. I don't know, very This is but... like one of the best pancakes. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. These really are delicious. And those apple bits make it really moist. I was thinking it was underdone, but it's not. It's the apples are making it moist. And because that's quite liquidy. Mm. When you think a pancake that comes from a bag, <laughs> it wouldn't be as good. Mm. Wow. That is so good. What? That was and the so most perfect the way to finish. Worth the waste. <laughs> <laughs> worth the waste. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to finish that off with a bit of huckleberry cocoa. Oh, you know what we could... Obviously, we still had to try this. We could have put the jams put the on. Jams. No, I know, I did think that. But that apple syrup was so good. And then, do you know what? We could have stacked a few, put it one jam on, another pancake, jam, another pancake, jam, another pancake. I did pancake, think about stacking it. Then some popcorn. Ugh. And then some chili. No. <laughs> that just whole experience was so great for mm. me. The fact that I could have two pancakes in there and flip, whereas the English ones are just, yeah. just separate. Oh, yeah, why did I use British that? Ones I should crappy. have used the pancake machine. Oh, we've got a pancake machine. I've got a crab maker. We've got one that does them in a cone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should have done that. That's a waffle, isn't it? That's a waffle. Oh, that's a waffle. Oh, my God. That was so good. We have that a crab machine. We have, a, we have two because oh, we still we have, have Joe and Ashes. Oh, we The one we <laughs> do we the pancake, pancake challenge. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to finish the video. Richard, mm. thank you so much for including thank you the so pancake much, mix. Yeah. That's so good. It's so nice getting to make something fresh yeah. and taste it. If only you've reminded us we've got a pancake maker. Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed that, did you? I did. What are you giving those pancakes, by the way? Do uh, I need to ask? 12. Oh, yeah. 12. <laughs> oh, that was just so good. I really enjoyed that, and I hope you guys enjoyed that too. We have actually already sent Richard a box of our British candy, so we hope you enjoyed that. And if anyone else would like to try some of our British candy, we'll leave a link down below and up there so you can go grab yourself a box. Anyway, that is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.